how do you win so fast? Wait, why is it so fast? How the f what, what do you mean false start? Alright, someone is fucking cheating. Wait, let me let me do this first. No one go. No. Nah. Why, why doesn't this work? Why can't I speed up? What is this? I can't speed up. Did I get a false start again? Alright. Everyone wait until I'm ready. Alright, go. Wait, wait, everyone slow down again. Oh my god. Alright, another mod. This was, this was, this was, this, this, I don't have a license. Subway shootout. Alright, that sounds interesting. Okay. Force and, oh. Person two. Right. What the fuck is this? Good morning. And let me say how happy I am. Win one. Win one who will stay alive. I don't know what that means. Win one who will stay alive. The fuck? Is the mag the wrong way? Oh, okay. What the fuck is this shit? Wait, am I a woman? Oh my god. Where am I a trap? Oh my god, this is so hard! Who invented this game? This is unbelievably hard. I can't grab the fucking... Oh, there we go. Alright. Push it in there. This is like me and your mom every other Friday. It's... So much work Which getting it in there. The question, what is it that we are not doing right? This particular individual said, and this is what he said. Or I can just do this. No, okay. I'm just amazed that no one has killed me yet. I guess I'm not the only one who sucks dick at this game. 
Wait, is that all? Is that how? Is that? Is that fine? It's in. Oh. Uh. All right. Oh fuck. All right. Um. Uh, How do I how do I use the individual fingers? How do I how do I use Oh I have to I have to uh pump it. Alright, wait, 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 wait. I have to do this. This is very hard. Oh my god. This is how I imagine the sumo generation feels like when they're playing a game that requires skill. Dude, what the fuck is going on? Alright. How do I, how do I do this? I can't see my own fucking gut. Oh no, this guy already has his shit loaded. Press F1. Middle mouse button, look mode, crouch. Crouch. I can't crouch. I can't, dude. Like, this is ridiculous. I can't seem to cock... Not cock it, but... Oh my god. I'm getting Vietnam flashbacks from the fucking bog, man. Thank God, the people in this game are fucking terrible. Please pull it back. <gasps> what? I have no more ammo. My other ammo is over there on the ground next to me. I, I can't reach it. And why do I have. Are they also with them? This one has a dress. Alright, we're gonna have to go on your game because I think all of us wasted our shit. All right, Afghanistan. All right. The winner is the last survivor. All right.
This is not normal. What the fuck is this? Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. Don't shoot. How much time is left, chat? Of the 20 minutes? Huh? What? Uh, seven. Most people are saying seven. It might be me. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, I gotta kill him first. He seems to be the only capable player here. Oh 
Oh my god. I am very ready. Oh my god, I didn't have the safety off. I just now took it off. By mistake, I didn't realize. I can have another drink too. Huh? Alright. New one. Anonymous Club, what is that? How do I do the f the fingers? Bend all fingers, not mouse button. Bend CERN, ASDF space. What the fuck is this game? Oh my, what the fuck, man? I just have it here, the whole thing. What is this? Anonymous club. I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing. Your opponent left. Epic! Golden Common! Golden Epic! Golden Legendary! Golden Bear! This game is fucked! I got no life! This is fucking cancer. How do you get this? His helmet. I'm literally giving up on the fight because it's an easy two tap, and all the other boys are going where? Where are they going? Once again. <laughs> Where is everyone? 
Alright, this is fucking... Shut the fuck up, you can't do anything in this fucking mod. Thank you. Mm, very nice. Alright. Extra salt. Battle Royale. Oh wait, Battle Royale? What the fuck? Let's go. Fours and four. Poggers. Welcome to Uganda. Mm. Good morning. Civilization. Yep. Can I get a drink? We are a continent which in the words of Afro pessimists. Well, is a star what the fuck is the this? What the hell am I watching? Which begs the table. question what is the future? I don't know what you're watching. Really this particular I don't know what I'm playing. Set. How, this how do I go back to the That Africa so still suffers Please, from the garden of How do you go back to running from, from the channel? And the garden of Eden syndrome in the in that God has placed you into the garden of Eden. And you partake of the fruits without Shift any labor. Switching. We have forgotten that after the fall oh, of man, there was a divine instruction go out and subdue the world. Because from the sweat of thy brow, thou shalt eat. There is a sense in which the three books in the Bible that I talk about speak to my agenda. They speak to the entire question of choice. And let me tell you one thing. Yes. The African continent all. has been traumatized and remains traumatized today. It is three times. Africans who are enslaved. Africans who are colonized. Africans claim that we gained our independence, but the neo-colonial project is alive and well. Speak to Ngugi Wasiong, he'll tell you that our minds are still colonized. And that is why he talks about decolonizing the mind. Because throughout the ages, the battle has always been the battle of the minds. That is why it is won and lost. One of the things that I've discussed... Good morning. Good morning. Are you kidding me? That's a direct hit in his 50, 40, 46 percent? Are you kidding me? What, what are you thinking? What's, what's your thinking on that one, huh? Huh? Dude, where are my bullets going? Alright. Yeah. I think you got a weapon. Very important. What the fuck? This is mine. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck! Oh, I what the fuck is going on? Better watch out for us. You're even holding it properly and you're killing everyone. Dude, this is way scary on Friday the 13th. It's fucking Hitman 47. Going trans. Yeah, get him! Oh my god, you lost the axe, you idiot. <laughs> You don't have the axe anymore.
All right, I'm. I, I need to eat this. Um, I promised to watch the 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 Seth video while I was eating. Hang on. All right, you can. Today, I'll be covering a game from a series right, that's okay. very special to me. But much like the nice girl you knew back in high school, she eventually went broke, destitute, and sold herself off to the... Oh, sorry. I'm talking about Heroes of Might and Magic 5, released in 2006 by Ubisoft. So, what happened? How did we get here? Well, Freedio, who had the license for Might and Magic, went bankrupt. So, Ubisoft bought the license, gave it to Naval, a sweatshop developer located in the Siberian gulags, and asked them to make a game as quickly as possible with no regard for human life. And since Slavs are trained from birth to play Heroes 3 on a competitive level, the developers were a good choice for developing a successor to the series. Unfortunately, the demands of a sweatshop took their toll, and by the end of it, most of the development staff were either dead or missing. The lead programmer got mauled by a bear while picking berries in the forest. Two of the artistic leads fell down a well and kept falling, and the designer got kidnapped by a gargoyle. Now, I what know what you're thinking, and yes, this about? is entirely true. I even wrote an entire wiki article to prove it. Despite such hardships, Naval did manage to make a beautiful and pretty interesting game. Let's begin. Story. Heroes 5 takes place in the world of Ashan, which has no connection to Heroes 3, 4, or the rest of the Might and Magic franchise, because we get a much more interesting and non-generic setting instead. Here's a quick rundown of this compelling story. Ashan is under attack by demons. Your husband, the king, is killed by demons. You are now queen. You resurrect your dead husband. Then you kill your undead husband. You get kidnapped by demons. Then everyone kills the demons. And everyone lives happily ever after in the Pony Kingdom of Equestria, Friendship is magic. You might think I'm lying about, about that last magician? part. Guess what? I'm not. What an engaging, engrossing plot. But what would you expect from the lead writer of such prestigious titles such as My Horse and Me 2 and the celebrated cult classic Horses? Thank you, Jeff Spock. Thank you for your service to humanity. You know what? I'm going to quickly rewrite the story of Heroes 5 into something much more coherent. Spasmaticus, a young king on a mad quest to rule the world. And then I wanted to watch one episode of, of Yu-Gi-Oh! For, uh, to learn about art styles and stuff. She likes to draw. Uh, for her game and shit. And it was the first time I ever watched an episode of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. How is it so bad? How did this become so big when it's so bad? It, it was absolutely terrible and it made no sense whatsoever. Anything in the first episode, it was like ridiculously bad. Why does his voice sound so deep when he's dueling and then he's like it it's like he enters puberty when he's when he's dueling. I don't I don't understand what the fuck is happening. <laughs> Why is that? Why does his voice become so deep? Like super deep. He's possessed while dueling. So none of his wins are his achievement or what? Makes sense. Hey!
By the way, the new story is now canon. Thank you. Gameplay. Everything is turn-based. Pick a map, pick a faction, pick a hero, and play. Unlike Heroes 3, your heroes can now attack monsters directly. But unlike Heroes 4, they can't be murdered on the battlefield. And they get a crazy, over-the-top skill wheel progression system as they level up, which is never explained inside the game, and you have to use third-party fan software to even know the existence of such a thing. Oh yeah, and what? you no longer have to micro manage every single neutral dwelling in town. You can now send caravans to the town of your choice and just pick up your troops later. It's very self-explanatory. There's eight different factions to play. Six in the base game, plus fortress and stronghold from the expansions. Everybody gets a massively scaled town, which spits out units for them each week. Every town also gets an amazing orchestral theme song, except stronghold. Each time I reinstall the game, I have to realize this all over again. Stronghold's music sounds like some royalty-free ambient background noise. It sounds like elevator music in a fantasy-themed two-star hotel. So, each time I have to go into my music folders and replace it with something more appropriate. Ram Ranch, it rocks! Cowboys love big herds driving cocks. As you may have noticed, the town camera pans around on its own. And it's actually one of my favorite things in this game, especially since the camera tracking syncs up with the music. But I'll show that off at the end. Every faction gets seven units from tier one to tier seven, all of which can be upgraded. Tribes of the East adds side grades too, which means there's now two upgrades to choose from. Most of these range from interesting to what flavor of energy drink do you want your your units to look like. Let's talk about the factions. Haven. These are the humans. They're very standard, very European, and generally quite solid. Some might think the strongest unit in the Haven arsenal is the Angel. However, that's completely fucking wrong. Yes, a celestial being sent to enact the will of God is pretty good, but um, can she pay taxes? I don't think so. No, the strongest unit under Haven's direct command is the humble peasant, the real heroes of might and magic are taxpayers. They contribute their monthly wages to provide you with security, social services, and of course, roads. Without peasants, we wouldn't have much of a country. Yes, it's only one gold per peasant per day, but if you let them survive plague, famines, and high infant mortality rates, you'll win the game economically. Because wars aren't decided by swords, they're decided by whoever has the most money, and that's a fact. God bless the unwashed masses for society sustaining the military industrial complex of the Griffin Empire. Stronghold. They've got orcs, centaurs, wyverns, and women. They also get a cyclops, eventually. Unfortunately, they also have yep. goblins. I have mixed feelings about these little shits. No. If you understand, let me read you one of their abilities. Treachery. When the number of these creatures falls below 30% okay. of their original numbers, they you change pour more sides. Into this Luckily, one. the rest of the faction more or less acknowledges that goblins are so human nothing. trash. Which is great, since you can sacrifice really? them directly to your shaman girls, use them as a tasty snack, or even as improvised living ammunition for your cyclops. It's an okay faction, a bit barren, and of course their music is terrible. But that's okay, because I replaced all the strong oh. music. Yes, 28 US Marines, pulling up with black, Ford Raptor trucks, helicopters landed, Ram Ridge is under siege. Wait, what the fuck is this remix? Much more immersive. Uh, how and how have I never heard that one? Their city is essentially just Dubai, except in the sky, floating at an altitude just high enough to be legally recognized as an independent state. As such, academies are regarded as offshore tax havens. What do they do with all this money? Well, they do what everyone with infinite power and knowledge of the arcane does. They summon cat girls and construct tin cans to murder anybody they don't like. They're great to play, and they've got amazing visuals. It's like a fusion of Indian and Arabic aesthetics. I love it. Sylvans are furries, sodomites, and probably zoophiles. Critics are rather divided on this town. On the one hand, it's objectively the best choice to upgrade your Apple Jackson to Fluttershy. Yet, many might be blindsided by Princess Celestia's better synergy with light magic. Personally, I 
I, I don't care. They do have really nice music though. Dungeon, our furries, sodomites, and definitely zoo files. If you like femdom, BDSM, or matriarchy, you'll feel right at home in the dungeon. They're fun to play. My only criticism is that it's kind of hard to tell if your units are upgraded or not, since the only difference between a normal dark elf and the upgraded version is whether or not they have this queen of spades tattoo on their backside. I don't know what that's about. Necropolis gets skeletons, spelly skellies, and big bone skellies. I don't know if it's intentional or not, but each time I play Necropolis, I do get a very strong, inexplicable craving to consume monster energy. As expected, they can raise the dead. Originally, after sitting around in their castle and smacking the end turn button for a few months, Necropolis would automatically win. Of course, this was incredibly fun, and since the hero's community hates fun, it was nerfed into what the ground. What the fuck? now need gamer juice to raise the dead. A limited resource that Happy birthday, I'm scared. This is dangerous. I'm scared. There's a knife right here at my throat. Flashback. Don't put it in your face. What the fuck? I'm not. It's at least three Happy centimeters away. Is this is this dime dime cake? Toblerone. Nah. Toblerone. They didn't have dime, but it's the same brand. Toblerone and dime is the same brand. The cake is made by the same brand. I don't know if it's hot. Yeah, it's very hot actually. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. All right. Uh. Yeah, I'm not American. Should I have it on a plate or should I? Welcome to Uganda. This is an ice cream cake, is it? Wait, I, did you see Peppa's reaction to the candles? Yeah. Was it was it funny? Yeah. Fuck, I missed it. I didn't think about it. All right. You want? Yeah. This? Mm -hmm. No, oh, so too much. Uh you're too skinny. Here you go. Whoop. All right. Uh huh. Okay, then it's mine, I guess. Thank you, chat. Oh, oh you. You're so silly. Thank you very much. Uh, spoon? I bring. Okay. Thank you. And uh, thank you very much, darling. <clears throat> Dan the Dank Dan, Soup Soup, Fidelta, thank you boys, Apogee, thank you for two years man, Big Daddy Strokes, Trolk, Lol, Warpus, Devil Scyther, Biosub, The Rolling Fridge, Tiger Fierce, Momo Woods, Phenolum, HG, Diggy, and Root Pig, Shinris, thank you, sorry if I missed a shit ton of subs today, my bad, I was uh, distracted by your pretty mom's butt, to still have a fucking... Spoon. Welcome to Uganda. <clears throat> Thank you, Sean. Let's see. Let's taste this ass. No, oh, not bad. Not bad, chat. Welcome to Uganda. I'm not a big fan of Toblerone, but this tastes pretty good. Yeah. I like it a lot. Not bad. Only replenishes at the start of each week. Fortress is the Manlet faction, which might not sound Manlet very faction. but they also get runes, which allow the dwarves to, among other things, cover the entire length of the battlefield, resurrect their dead stacks, and temporarily become a ghost. If that wasn't enough, three of their strongest units might also be completely immune to Armageddon. And based off what you've just heard, yes, they are incredibly balanced. Inferno can do this. They can also do this. 
this. They're red, they're demons, they can summon more demons, they all look the same, and they're extremely boring to play. But wait, that's not all. This is a good time to mention that every faction gets a special, racially exclusive ability. Academy gets body modification. Sylvans are good at poaching. Dungeon benefits from bestiality. Dwarves get runes. Stronghold gets angry. Haven can turn living units into better units. Necropolis can turn living units into undead units. But Inferno has the most powerful and strategically significant of all. Inferno can turn living units into dead units. Now that is amazing design. So while other brainlet factions are focused on pressing the advantage, what? adapting to the enemy, and increasing their forces, the Galaxy Brain Inferno player spends all of his money on troops only to sacrifice them so he can level up once or twice. His objective completed, his goals met, he hits Alt F4 and ejects himself from the multiplayer match. And that's why Inferno is the most powerful faction, because its players can't be reasoned with. They're nihilists, with motives above human understanding. Combat plays out like the previous titles, except there are some changes. One, everyone has gained weight since Heroes 3 and 4. The battlefield is no longer hexagonal. This video is, is now too quadragonal. Is there, right? Everything and everything one is a square now. It's easier to body block, but it's also Up easier there. to get completely blocked out of a fight, depending so on the unfortunate geometry mine. of twigs and small stones Noodle in your path. Two, dessert, now whiskey, two beer, things that determine how quickly you move. Right speed now. and initiative. Speed is how far your units can move. Initiative is how quickly they decide to do something. Three, I have no idea what they did with the spells. Sure, there's destructive magic, which still includes the classic nuclear option and there's vampirism which by the way is really funny to put in a vampire but is this game way rest? more complicated Haste doesn't actually Street? make you quicker Since slow could... doesn't actually make you slow they just make you act quicker or slower respectively hello what happened to my goddamn magic but i'm willing to forgive all that because heroes 5 added the best goddamn spell in the game probably the best spell in the entire hero series summon beehive i love this spell so much i even made my own campaign pain around it. It's called Beekeeper. It's a piece of shit. Don't actually play it. If you kill the last monster, you win the game, but I made it so that about a thousand text boxes will pop up when you do, which uh, consists of the entire B-movie script. Multiplayer. Multiplayer is dead. Ubisoft <laughs> doesn't maintain anything, but you can still use virtual land to play with friends. There's simultaneous turns to make normal games faster, and a dual option for instant combat. So, most of the time, you're gonna be up against the AI which is AI in name alone. Computer players may be artificial, but they're definitely not intelligent. But that doesn't mean they don't have chess master level programming behind them. The AI takes about 10 seconds of raw processing power each turn to carry out their master plan of leaving their base undefended when your army is right at their doorstep. This only gets worse with more AI because each one must independently take 10 seconds of your lifespan to calculate their next move. It actually got so ridiculous that I had to use Cheat Engine to speed hack the game about five, six times. What a convoluted solution, Seth. Why didn't you just alt-tab and do something else? Well, because alt-tabbing makes this game freeze. That's right. Heroes 5 pauses itself so you don't have to miss a second of watching that turn timer fill up. For that reason, I recommend trying Heroes 5.5, a mod that drastically rewrites the AI to be more intelligent and to take turns lightning fast. By the way, the base game hates my graphics card. So if your game looks like this, then I also recommend Heroes 5.5. Finally, there's a map editor included with this game. You can make some pretty good maps with it. Mainly, however, I use it to make trash like this. Final score. I've received a lot of feedback that my review scores are poorly defined and hardly objective. Let's fix that up right now. The final score will be composed of a single industry standard metric by which all games are professionally judged. The main menu. I'm going to be assessing these per expansion. Base game. Very solid. Very cool. Anime fight sequence. 10 out of 10. Hammers of fate. Just some dark elves trying and failing to illegally cross the border. 5 out of 10. Tribes of the East. An amazing high impact sequence where a cyclops lays siege to a castle. <sighs> whacking and smacking every human in his path. But just then 
a crossbowman ah, I got a jaw dog. and shoots the cyclops now i'm <clears> gonna <throat> ask the audience what do you think he does next logically there's only two options he can a chill at the back reload and take a jaw second lock. shot in relative safety or b he can charge the Cyclops with a butter knife. If you voted B, good news, you're correct. Our brave warrior follows the most reasonable course of action and charges the Cyclops. Let's see how well he does. He didn't fly Wait. so good. Zero out of 10. Based on these scores, I conclusively give Heroes 5 a out of 10. Heroes 5 is a fantastic addition to the series and probably the last good game it will ever have. Since I'm fully convinced that Heroes 6 and 7 don't actually exist, I'm just having a bad dream. One that I can't seem to wake up from. The big question is, is it as good as Heroes 3? Probably not, but it's a solid game in its own right and does justice to the source material. And if you don't believe me, believe the genuine words of other reviewers, such as Stephanie here, who wrote, Love, five stars. My neighbor's mother-in-law makes $61 every hour on the internet. She has been without a job for seven <laughs> months, but last month her pay was $14,324 just working on the internet for a few hours. Read this post here, equal, 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 and G. T semicolon who are definitely real people and uh, not spam bots trying to take your money. I recommend buying the whole collection on GOG since unlike the Uplay copy, it comes with a full soundtrack and no DRM. Plus, it ensures that less of your money is going towards Ubisoft, who massacred my favorite series, turned it into someone's deviant art gallery, and turned me into a bitter shell of my former self. As always, more content to come next year. We're done for now. But not entirely. Earlier, I concluded my streaming contract with DLive, and as a man of my word, I went back to the merchants and asked them to vote on what kind of smut would you like commissioned. Our budget, about $1,200. Here are the results of democracy. You can find them on my site and spread across the less reputable dens of evil. A warm thanks to the, the many fuck? members of the Merchants Guild generously funding and bankrolling these videos. Please enjoy your Christmas Hanukkah and have a ha your Christmas Hanukkah. Christmas Hanukkah. All right. I got a sudden urge to play something, but um, I don't know if I will. I install. I'm, I'm installing it. Uh, <clears throat> we'll see. All right, but first I need to win one time. <clears throat> okay. Bloody conference. What is this? And first I need a snooze. All right, weapon random. Uh, oh, grenade. That seems like a plan. All right, force and one. Uh, not force and one. Force and just force and. Welcome to you. <laughs> All right, go. Uh, uh. <laughs> Financial board meeting. Wait, I didn't know this. Uh, 
Does anyone have a grenade left? New weapons, we need new weapons. What was that called? Bloody conference. Alright. Uh, the weapons will be... The weapons will be... Magnum. Alright. Force and one. Alright, we're gonna get fucked here. Financial board meeting. Commencing. <laughs> How do I fucking unlock the the the, the, the barrel? My game just fucking crashed. I think we had too many people spamming the fucking shit out of the microphone. Alright, I think we can't do that one. There are too many players joining. Uh, okay. Bomb. What is this? Force and two. Hyvät naiset ja herrat, television katselijat. Info porno. Info porno. Uh, I think we gotta. We gotta. Info porno. Info porno. Move your hand, dude. Move your hand, Santa Claus, right now. Move your left hand. Move. Your left Why do you even have a skin in this game if you suck ass? That's my question Alright, get that shit open We have a limited time, I think Alright, ditch these fuckers. Yeah, take your time, General. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh my god. I'm molding watching you do this. What are you doing? Oh my god, thank god. Alright, this is time based, dudes. Move it. We have two minutes. Install install toggle switches in position at B1. Okay, I'll do the switches. Read it upside down. I can't read it. I don't have time. A1. What the fuck? mistakes you can't improve until you make mistakes How did I do this, this last time? Get for being slow last time. I can't reach that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start it. Okay, I, what the fuck are you doing now? I can't start it, dude. <laughs> yeah, okay. Get on it. Jesus. Sal HS, thank you for the gifted sub, man. UKR Hunt, actually, you gifted five subs, thank you, dude. Lone, Raiko, Musku, holy shit, Musku. Wax Mac and Chompy Sunk, thank you. Wax Mac, two years, Force and Santa, says, thank you. Welcome back, man. Dude, we're dead. I don't need this ring. Ring. Uh, screw. Yeah, what the? You're not a DJ. Get the fucking electric drill. <laughs> Ooh. 
Maybe I shouldn't have killed him. <laughs> he was slow as fuck. Maybe he was... That's almost half in person. I was gonna say take mine, but I don't know where it is. Well, a good effort, boys. Cockroaches. All right. Horse and three. Oh my god, this is so realistic. So realistic, dude. Yeah, okay. Oh, I can't grab anything until I do this. That makes sense. How the fuck do I grab the fucking... What the fuck? Can't grab the fucking jar, dude. It's glued to the fucking table. Dude. It's fucking glued to the fucking. Oh, I'm supposed to put them inside. Oh.
can't see anything with this fucking arm. New strategy. You can't fucking win if I put the sugar in the jar. How the fuck did you get the sugar? That's that's so unfair this mod. Crossbow battle. Okay. Force and five enter. Whatever that means. Good morning. Civilization. We are a continent which in the words of African pessimists is a scar on the conscience of humanity. Which begs the question, what is it that we are not doing right? This particular individual said. And this is what he said. That Africa still suffers from the Garden of Eden syndrome. And the Garden of Eden syndrome is that God has placed you into the Garden of Eden. And you partake of the fruit without any labor. We have forgotten that after the fall of man, there was a divine instruction go out and subdue the world. Oh my god, I'm doing it. You're fucking dead in my screen already, bitch. And now for poet about Forsen. Forsen is love. Forsen is life. Forsen's hair looks very nice. Forsen is sexy. And he rock. I just wanna see. How do you fire this? Swedish meatballs. <laughs> How do you fire this? Is it the red button? Oh fuck. Uh oh. Deflect! Deflect though. Oh shit. Oh 
Oh my god. Chat. One remaining. <sighs> ah, fuck. Welcome to you, uh oh, this is bad. Oh shit, this is real bad. No, 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 no. Okay. Right, push it a bit to the left. Push it a little bit. Oh no, he's already aiming at me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> he missed. All right, move it a little bit. Is that good? That could be good. What the fuck? What? What the fuck? Oh shit. Don't drop that one. <gasps> oh my god. Right. What? How did what? How did I kill him? He killed himself? No, he's aiming at me with the thingy. It says that I kill him top right. Your arrow got stuck on him? He stepped on the arrow? Welcome to Uganda. Ah, fuck. Well, I am the winner. Oops. Alright. Snipers? Hmm. Alright, force and one again. What the fuck? Is this guy, is this gun already loaded?
Are you supposed to... Are you supposed to look through this? What the fuck? Are you kidding me right now? Do I still have bullets? How the f Fuck do you do this? What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck? Oh, thank you. Dude, this is impossible. What the hell? This is actually absolutely impossible. I can't see shit from this. Dude, what is this?
This is fucking impossible, dude. What the fuck? Absolutely impossible. Tanks. Minus 5,000. <clears> 300 bits from uh, if you're this, we won. Any golf with your friends uh, this birthday stream? Probably not. I'm thinking about doing another game in a bit, but uh, let me first try a little bit more. Oops. The hell is this? Hello. This is the Twitch police. We are Nazi mods. Put your fucking hands up. Control all sharpest cap hey, shit mama. seven. Identify. I said fucking identify. Trump W, I'm clean. Trump W, I'm clean. Yeah, ready up. We are heroes. We brought justice back to the channel. Let's celebrate and go on Trump mode. Resident sleeper. Forcing W. Ready up. Forcing W. Resident sleeper. Forcing W. Resident sleeper. Forcing W. Resident Forcing Sheffy. Forcing W. Forcing W. Resident sleeper. Wow. Forcing Chat is going really slow. Maybe it's time to release the clips. <laughs> How do I shoot? How do I shoot? What the fuck? This is the shoot one? Oh fuck, he's gonna shoot me. What the fuck? The this guy's fucking cheating. This guy's fucking cheating, dude. Oh no no no. I'm ready to fuck up. I know what to do now. The, the left one is for reload. This is ground control to Denver Storm. Take your spare gun and put your helmet on.
Get fucked, dude. Get fucked. Now we're now we're Vikings here. Four seven three. The fuck is this? Good morning. Seeing how Kunta Kinte refuses to change his name, and they call him Toby, but he's saying that Kunta Kinte. Ultimately, for strategic reasons, he accepts the name Toby, but he retains Kunta Kinte throughout the ages. And 200 years later, Alexei is able to trace his roots. But today, young Africans are going to Europe willingly to be enslaved. What the fuck is this? He's by another man. But you are paid wages. You are paid wages that can barely keep you alive. I'm submitting to you are here. Africa is the land of action. Dude, I'm submitting I'm... to you here that the Europeans will never respect you if you don't respect yourself. He just rushed for a fucking weapon. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, no. submitting to you that you never sit on the table of civilization as equal partners unless you are demonstrated that you are worthy of being a diner rather than a waiter choose you now what you shall do the book of the prophet joshua is also another book it speaks to the israelites <laughs> <laughs> I killed them both! They ran into my fucking spear. <laughs> no! Again, again, I clicked wrong, I was laughing. Uh... Right, first and four. Alright. Forget about the fucking oh. I can't grab the spear. If you want to wish our favorite Swedish role player a happy birthday, put your fucking hands up! Don't, don't fucking try it. Here it comes! Oh, it's just you and me, huh? Wait, where's my spit? Ah, for fuck's sake, dude! The spear sucks ass! Carding. Thank you for the 300 bits. If you read this, we won. Any? Oh, sorry. Uh, Gandhi, oh, 600 um, bits. This cap is 600. Hello. 
Oh, fucking me. Oh, no! Oh, How do you back? How do you reverse? How the fuck do you reverse? So left lever? Or left hole?
Because I'm winning. Oh, so tough. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? You fucked me up, man. Who's blocking the fucking bridge? The blocking the fucking. <laughs> Alright, All right, I'm getting cancelled from this ship. Alright, good, well played, well played. Uh, I gotta take a quick leak once again. Alright. Uh, wow, I'm downloading in 75 megabytes per second. That's pretty impressive. 75 megabytes per second. Welcome to Uganda. 